Hey there friends, how's it going? It's Rosie. Um, if you're new here, hey, what's up, hello. We are doing a fun decluttering, cleaning video. I make these because they make me actually get it done. <laughs> and I like watching other people do it, so might as well do it too. We are going to be focusing on the ominously open closet in the back here, as well as my dresser and uh, just a general cleanup of the house because we are also going to decorate for fall. This will be a fun little like fall house reset for us. This will also partially help me declutter um, for my move whenever that does happen. We're still figuring out timelines, but if you don't know what I'm talking about, I posted a video with some pretty large life updates <laughs> um, and I will link it down below. It should be the last video that was up on this channel, but um, I'm moving back to New York and very specifically, I'm moving into my parents' basement for a little while. All that to say, I'm not going to really have a ton of space for me um, until I move out again. And so because of that, I really want to like, you know, get my, get my possessions down to the, the absolute essentials. Um, plus some fun stuff. I'm a maximalist at heart. I'm not getting rid of everything. I can promise you that. Uh, but I do have so many things that I never wear, have never worn, just haven't worn in a very long time. And so like they can go to a better home for sure. Um, and I try to post things on Depop, but obviously some things it's easier to just donate or pass on to friends. So either way, I have to go through all of this, call out, you know, what I am keeping and what I'm not. Along with that, we will be decorating for fall, which will make me very happy. I, I've been going back and forth about whether or not I should switch out my clothes for fall because it's still freaking hot. It's 87 degrees here today on October 2nd. Rude. We'll see how I feel later today. I just finished up work, so I have time to dedicate my brain to this now and um, really just like get into it. Just lock in. When I do, switch over my clothes since that might be later on. I didn't want to waste the full fall season not having decorations out because I'm waiting to do like one big go of it all. So we're decorating today. I swear on it because I also know it will boost my spirits and make me happier. <laughs> I do have dinner with a friend tonight and so it's we're gonna try to get through this decently quick. Um, and I feel like it'll be kind of easy because I go through my closet a lot. I'm sure you can find the many videos of me cleaning and decluttering um, on this channel. Uh, so I have an idea of what I said last time will have to go this time if not worn. Uh, so I'm hoping it won't be too big of a task. But yeah, that's where we're at. Um, if you're interested in more videos like this as I get ready to move my life, halfway across the country, more than halfway, three quarters, and go on back to New York. Feel free to subscribe and hang out and I will be keeping you in the loop as we move forward. Um, also just lots of fun, exciting things happening the rest of this year. Um, I have a lot of travel coming up, lots of cool like travel vlogs and stuff. And yeah, that's about all for my spiel. It didn't feel very organized, but that's I think everything I have to say. So let's get into it, yeah? quick overview of the closet so you can see what we're getting into. This is a new jacket I purchased from American Eagle. I have yet to try on, um, but I got it because I had like a $20 reward. So I was like, I have to use that. Um, and I've wanted a trench coat for a long time. That's irrelevant to most things that is staying in the closet. Um, but here is the closet. It's, it's not the worst it's been, but it's also not the best. This section is Kenan's. I'm not touching that. Um, but this section, and then of course this side. So, we got a lot to go through. We're gonna start with down here because it's easiest to maneuver my tripod that way. First off, we're keeping this. This is nearly brand new, but I'm pissed. This is obviously the Taylor Swift Folklore Cardigan, the OG. It came fucking ripped. But I'm not going through the process of getting a new one. I. I don't care enough, it still works. Um, this is one of my favorite cardigans of all time. I am keeping it. This is something I'm very excited about. I think that's so cute. This, this I am conflicted on every single time. I feel like I've only worn it once since I've had it. And every time I look at it, I'm like, oh, I could style that really cute. But then I just don't do it. 
Because like in my head, I'm like, oh, I could style that real cute with the trench and like jeans. So maybe we give it fall. If it's not worn by December, she's going. Love, love. This set, I bought a year ago and I think it's really cute. However, I feel like I'd wear the cardigan alone, but not this. And I don't think I'm gonna wear the set together again. The red is such a pop of fun. But like this tank top, I don't know. The red on red, I'm just not feeling that very much anymore. Um, this, oh, favorite, always. This, on the fence, but I want a maroon sweater. So we'll keep, 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 keep. Okay, easy. I don't have that many sweaters here right now, so that's good. Um, these are bags of bags. These bags of bags are bags I will have to go through, but they are useful in packing. So I'm gonna keep them for now. Um, let's see. These I bought in the Doc Martin sale over the summer. I've been so obsessed with these shoes for over two years, like check my Pinterest. Um, but I bought them over the summer and then I got really sick and I never wore them. I think fall is the time, but I'm gonna take them out of the box. So that way I remember that I have them. Otherwise I just will never remember, but they're these little like clog guys. Clogs? I don't know that's what they're called. That's garbage. And then we're coming up on time for them, but I got a nude pair, like gray-ish. Honestly, yeah, like mauve gray pair of my favorite Doc Martens. I wear the all black pair. I've had them since 2021. I've worn them hundreds, if not thousands of times. So um, hundreds, because I think statistically it would be impossible for me to wear them thousands. Uh, however, most sets with them, they don't have to be broken in because they're the soft kind of leather, pleather, I don't know. Uh, and I'm very excited. And then there's just stuff down here, man. Um, oh, this is stuff I'm donating. That's what that is. Oh yeah, donations. Yeah, okay. Those have been piling here, and then I have another pile outside of the closet, so we'll get to that. We'll combine them. We'll consolidate. Okay, great. We have just normal Uggs. These are just my only pair of normal flip-flops, so we have to keep these. And then I have a pair of Vince Camuto wide leg or wide calf boots here that didn't fit me last year and I missed the return window for. But I'm gonna try them out again this year and we'll see. <laughs> I don't know if they'll fit, but couldn't hurt to try. I have my trendy shoes. These are said black docks that I wear nearly every time I leave the house in fall and winter. And then, uh, yeah. These were a cute pair of boots that I said last year I was gonna give a try and then I just never wore them. And it's past, way past the return date. So I think these gotta go. Okay. Now let's do the jeans and the jean shorts. This is always intimidating because I don't know what fits currently. Um, I know these do because I just wore them. These are Hollister's, what are they? Curvy Ultra High Rise Vintage Straight. The Curvy Ultra High Rises from Hollister in a size 21 fit me like perfectly. So I'm keeping my Hollister's just because I know those are good for right now. And like, I just have shit like stuffed, you know, that's not good. Here we go, another pair. And then I have to try on my old navy jeans because I have stuff in a size 20, I have stuff in a size 22. I don't know where I'm at. Um, when I was in the hospital and really sick, I did just straight up lose 20 pounds because <laughs> I couldn't keep food down or eat normally for mm, two to three weeks. However, that didn't change very much when it, like looking at myself, I don't look different. So I'm not quite sure what fits where and when and how. So I'm gonna take these out. These are 22. Okay. I'm gonna put these like on the top of the pile and when I have more time, I will try on and have like a better, I'll give them their own pile. That's what I'll do. I'll give them their own pile so I know I have to try these on and then we can decide.
is since these are con hashtag confirmed good, I'm going to put them there. And the try on section will continue down here because there are a lot of things we need to try on. American Eagle just stopped carrying plus sizes. Um, and it sucks, and they suck for that. These are a toy. Okay. Like, I still fit in their XXL dresses and other stuff, but like, come on. Why'd you get rid of the bigger size jeans? I just have to say, currently, I just got back on TikTok after a full year of not opening TikTok, not looking at my messages. If someone texted me a TikTok, I'd look at it, but otherwise I did not go on the app because it brought me great anxiety. But that's linked to some stuff I'm unpacking now. Um, however, I did just recently open it again. I've been having so much fun with it. And my current favorite people are, I think it's the Missy and I can't think of his name. I don't know what his name is, but they're the ones who work in New York at Bernie's and they're like, Golden Girl, you are completely having such the best day I have ever seen in my eyes, nose, ears, and mouth. They're the ones who talk like that and someone made like a free, <laughs> what is it? It's not trap, it's like techno, I don't know, house music remix of one of the guys. I think his name is Marty, actually, I feel like it's Marty, um, of one of his TikToks that's like, Girl, it's the morning, girl. Time for getting all the way up. And it's so good. And something he says a lot is like, coffee, coffee, dingle, dingle. And they made a dance, and it's just on loop in my head, nonstop. And I just keep thinking, coffee, coffee, dingle, dingle. As if that's a normal thing to think. Anyways, um, that's what's going through my head right now. When I'm silent through this process, that's what I'm thinking about, and I wanted you to know that. Um, so, these... Are good. Alrighty. Let's look at these little sweatshirts right here. Ooh, this is a dust bag for something. I don't need that. Oh, okay. I'm not a Disney adult. I almost was. I talked about that before. I am going to Disney with Mackenzie. It will be incredible. However, I've had this for a long time and I have not worn it. And I wanted to hold on to it, but I think I gotta get rid of it, especially because I will probably buy a new Disney sweatshirt on this trip. This, however, this I fought tooth and nail to find. It is the 2018 Epcot Flower and Garden Festival spirit jersey or whatever. I don't know. The color's perfect, and I just think it's pretty with the flowers. So I will not be letting this go. I've gotten rid of, like, almost all of my other Disney stuff. I wish I knew where my Disney ears were. I'm pretty sure they're at my parents' house. In New York. So that's unfortunate. But what is this? Oh, this is just a plain black sweatshirt. Perfect. I do be needing this. Let's just zipper her up and make her a little fancier. Coffee, coffee. Oh, yeah. I bought this last year when I was in a Polo Ralph Lauren obsession. Don't know why. Could not tell you. I just love the little bear. I just love him. I have not worn it. I'm going to resell that. <laughs> this. Oh, this is my mom's. Villanova. She didn't go there. I don't know if she knows anyone who went there. But it's a cool sweatshirt and it's vintage, so I'm keeping it. Oh, yeah. And then this is a sweatshirt from like a place I used to go as a kid. So. What's the place? <sighs> it doesn't exist anymore, so I have to keep it. <laughs> Alright. Looking sexy. While I'm on the floor, let's see. Oh, this is just a bag of more bags that I have to go through at some point. That is not a today current problem that I want to do. Yeah, this is in here too. That's going. <laughs> Alrighty, time to get up. <laughs> okay. There are a ton of sweatshirts here. I will go through them on my own time and show you what we kept. Let's go. Much better. Gotta donate. <laughs> okay, and as you can see, I have a lot of space up here that is just not being used, so I don't know why everything's on the floor. So I'm just gonna move some things and stack them up where I can see them. Nice. Now I'm gonna go through really quick and just cull things fast and then 
Then we can move on to the drawers. Looking and feeling more organized, especially all things considered, um, I'm not getting rid of too much, but I am getting rid of some stuff that I've pulled, put down here on the left side where I have a lot of room. And yeah, so honestly, closet done for right now. And I'm sure it'll be in a vlog when I actually do switch out my clothes, but overall, happy. Now these drawers have a lot of shit in them. Um, I have a lot of stuff I just haven't worn in a long time, but I keep it because it's like pajamas. But I need to stop that. I don't need that many pajamas, even though I do wear a lot of pajamas. But let's start with the bottom drawer. see the piles I'm making but we made some good piles we got rid of some stuff that I put in the back corner so things are looking good fabulous next energy to go through the underwear drawer right now that'll be another time but we got through the other two which were really the crazier ones so doing good i'm gonna take a little breaky break then we're gonna clean a little bit downstairs and put out our fall decoration Excuse me, sir. Hello, sir. Thank you, sir. Excuse me, sir. Okay, so this is what we got going on. I thought I had more decorations. Doing a sniff. However, I really just have a lot of candles. There are four more candles in my closet, plus two more I'm gonna grab right now. So that's six that are fall, <laughs> fall or Halloween themed. So we're limiting it for now until we burn through these. We don't have too much crazy going on, which is good. Honestly, realizing now it's probably because this guy ate my little Halloween target birds last year. Shame him. Um, so that's why I'm down a few decks. However, I did pick this little guy up. He's just a little, a little witchy, little witchy dog. And this beautiful little ceramic pumpkin. This was $3 and so was the little doggy, I think. Both from Target. We have like some area to clean and decorate with. He has a sock, great. Um, <laughs> I need to clean off this table. It's just a little random right now. I to put that stuff away. My fall flowers are out. They normally are out. And then my table runner like just doesn't change throughout the year, so. And my mom sent me these. <laughs> which was really cute of her. Uh, so these are gonna come out and hang for the season. And then please let me turn you on to the best candle I have found possibly ever. It is $5.95, $5.95. It is the same size as the Bath and Body Works three wick candles. It is called Warm Fall Leaves and it smells exactly like the actual Bath and Body Works leaf ca leaves candle. And I loved it so much, I purchased it a month ago, I think. And you can see my little one over here. Loved it so much that I'm almost done. And I don't go through candles like that quickly anymore, so like that means a lot. So when I went back to Walmart and they had them, I grabbed two. <laughs> because I want this year round, baby. All right. So 
not too much to go through. However, I can do a little dusting, a little tidying, and then we can put things where they need to go. This also has been here the whole time we've lived here. This is donation stuff. Um, yeah, just so you know, because every time I look at it, I hate it. But now that I'm leaving, it doesn't matter. <laughs> so we're just gonna decorate with what we have. Woohoo. So just to start, I have a lot of hand towels that are fall Halloween themed because my mother is a Marshall's mom. And so whenever she goes, she buys me hand towels, which I appreciate and love. However, that means I have a lot. So I think you saw there are quite a few in that donation pile. Um, so I have two ghosties. I have these, which she bought me for my first apartment and I think I love the best. Cattle lanterns, very cute. And then I have two of these. I think they just came in a set of two. These little pumpkins. And this is an orange one. And these are like specifically ghosty boys. These feel more like durable. So I think these are gonna go in the kitchen. I have one that she sent me that is like pumpkin-y that is already in the kitchen, but she's been used. So we will replace with these. I think I'm gonna put these in the guest bathroom and then the ghosties will save for closer to Halloween as things get dirty. And then this, the cattle lanterns will be in our bathroom. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a little swiffer just to like clean up the dust. The couch is fine. Um, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna film this quick. I figured as a part of my fall reset of it all, I would include my little fall TBR. Little, I say. Number one, we ride upon sticks by Quanberry. Okay, so it's about witches in the town of the original Massachusetts witch trials, um, playing some kind of sport. I'm not sure what sport, it does not say it on the back. Perhaps, stick hockey? Perhaps some kind of street hockey, I'm not sure. But my friend Mara really loves this book. And um, I remember picking it up because she reviewed it like three years ago. So that's what I'm about. Um, it seems fun, I love the cover, the design is everything. And it takes place in the 80s, so it's gonna be a good time. This one I'm iffy on. This one is like, a, if I don't read this now, I'm never gonna read it and I'm just gonna get rid of it. But this is Layla by Colleen Hoover. Um, it's a book I've just had for a long time, it's not that long, and I want to get it out of my library, but I want to try to read it first, just in case I love it, because I loved Verity, I'm not gonna lie, Verity got me, and Layla is the closest to Verity that Colleen Hoover has in her, rest of her, not discography, I don't know, in the rest of her books, 
Like I mentioned in my previous video, I am trying my best to read as many of my physical books as humanly possible before I move, just so I can donate some, I could sell some, and I know what I do want to take back. Because I would love to only take back books I like super duper love and like not a ton more. Um, yeah, so we're gonna try to get through this. Apparently there's a ghost in this one, so that might do it for me. Emily Wilde's Encyclopedia of Fairies by Heather Fawcett. I know the sequel to this one came out this year, and it's supposed to be just like a cute, cozy book. Um, I like fairies. I've been on a big fairy kick recently, and I heard this was a good fall read, so I'm gonna give it a look-see. The cover is just gorgeous. I mean, I love the aesthetic of it, so I hope I love the actual book. This is You Again by Kate Goldbeck. I know there's a bisexual main character, I don't know which one it is, but I know there is one. And apparently it's like if Harry met Sally. And it's supposed to be just like an iconic fall read. It, I got it as my September book of the month a year ago, 2023. And I mean, just look at that cover. The cover the cover is giving fall all the way. And I know it's fall in New York City, which I am longing for currently. So we are going to read this one this year. By the time I thought about reading it last year, it wasn't fall anymore. And I was like, I want to hold on until it's this season. And it's the season, baby. Next, I have The Lost Tarot by Sarah Henstra, and it has the cool, like, uneven edges that I love. Um, picked this up when I was in Canada. Uh, the Lost Tarot, something about a tarot deck, anything about a tarot deck really will capture my attention. It seemed cool, I liked the actual physical feel of the book, um, and I can't tell you much else because I don't know much else. Let me look real fast. <laughs> yeah, struggling junior art historian in Toronto. Immediately, I am hooked. Ooh, and it's about a lost tarot deck card that she's trying to track down. Very interesting. I'm into it. And then my final book, Lady Macbeth by Ava Reed. Ava Reed wrote A Study in Drowning, which was a book that I tried to listen to. Couldn't do it because I hated the voice actors. <laughs> voice, sorry, queen. Um, and I read the actual book in one sitting because it was so good. So I have to believe that I'm going to enjoy her other, oh, and there's art, look, her other books. Um, gorgeous cover, gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. Uh, I love Lady Macbeth. <laughs> Honestly, a dream role. Macbeth is the show I've worked on the most in my theater career and I has a special place in my heart. Um, so anything Macbeth related, I'm interested in. And this was pretty fresh. I think this came out this summer. So that is everything I am planning on reading this fun fall season. <laughs> and that my friends is everything I have to offer you today. Thanks for coming along as I cleaned and decluttered and decorated. No. Um, <laughs> and picked out the books I'm going to read. Very exciting. Very fun. I love fall. Favorite season. It was so nice to like put everything out and like see it. I'm excited to be spooky. And uh, yeah, so I hope you had a lovely start to your October. Um, I also just want to say thank you to everyone who reached out, commented, texted, called, anything. After my last video, the like outpouring of support was just in like incredible. Like so kind and wonderful and loving. People I haven't spoken to in a while reached out still just to like share that they were thinking about me. And that touched my heart so much I like cried happy tears. So thank you. Thank you so much. Um, I love you. And I appreciate your friendship, your kindness and everything. <sighs> yeah, I just wanted to say that, but okay. I hope you have a wonderful whatever time of day you're in. I will talk to you very, very soon. My links are always down below, by the way, in case you want to chat on any other social platforms. I'm working really hard to get to the 100 books a year. I'm on book 70, and so we're making progress again. I was stuck in the 60s for a couple months. But yeah, um, <laughs> just wanted to put that out there. Maybe I could do like a reading update or something. Um, but anyways, like I said, thank you for watching. Thank you for being here. I appreciate you. I love you. And I hope you have a wonderful day.